Hey friends, it's Miss Cassie at the Orange Beach Public Library here for another Stay In Story Time. Now normally we do these live, but today uh, I had to be out of town, so I'm filming this on Wednesday and we're going live on Thursday. So if you comment, I will not be able to comment back until later, but still going to be all the same and I'm so glad to be able to give this to you, um, even though it's a little different. And we have a new setup, so we're going to get it all figured out. But we first start every story time with a hello song where we say hello in American Sign Language like this. Hello. Can you do that? Hello. Very good. And then we say friends. We have one friend and another friend and they give each other a hug like this. So our song goes like this. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello friends. It's time to say hello. Very good. And then we sing our roly poly song, which is about opposites. So we put our hands in fists like this. We're going to go around and circle like this. All right. Roly poly, roly poly. Up, 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 up. Roly, roly poly, roly, roly poly. Down, 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 down. Very good. Because the opposite of up is down that's right very good let's do another one <clears throat> roly poly roly poly out 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 roly roly poly roly roly poly in 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 very good because the opposite of out is in that's right let's do one more Roly poly, roly poly, fast, 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 fast. Roly roly poly, roly roly poly, slow, 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 slow. Very good, because the opposite of fast is slow. Very good. All right, so the stories that we are going to read today are all about bicycles. I know with everything going on we've been a lot spending a lot of time outside and hopefully riding on our bicycles so the first story <clears throat> is called bikes for sale and it is by carter higgins and illustrated by zachariah o'hara isn't that cool look what animals do you think those are i don't know let's go and figure it out <laughs> maybe a hedgehog don't know what that guy is i guess maybe we'll figure it out in the book let's see They were new once, and then they weren't. This one belonged to Maurice. What do you think he's selling there? What does that look like to you? Lemonade, possibly. He rode it to the grocery store, through the park on 3rd Street that had the best lemon trees, and to the shop. No matter where he rode, he always had customers. He was far enough away from the grocery store and just beyond the snack bar in the park. Everyone loves lemonade, he thought. 25 cents wasn't all that much for some squeezy drops of sunshine. Besides, they get to keep the cup. That's a steal. Just a quarter? After a while, it was time to ride on. Stay here, said the construction site man, thirsty from all that hammering. Don't go, said the dog walker, with lots and lots of leashes. But Maurice had more corners to try. That one belonged to Lotta. She rode it to the woods, through the ditch on the fifth street that had the best mud, and to the fork. No matter where she rode, she always had room for one more. Oh, that stuff that she's collecting looks like a bunch of sticks. She rode deep into the woods where the sun couldn't reach, and far out to the lake where the beavers kept their leftovers. Everyone loves sticks, she thought. They're the best thing to collect. Besides, they were free. Do you know what this guy, what these, he's using his sticks for? Stilts. Isn't that cool? Those are called stilts. After a while, it was time to ride on. Don't go, said the dog walker with lots and lots of leashes. Stay here, said the bunch of boys who couldn't pick a favorite. But Lotta had more thickets to try. He rode and she rode and they rode all over. But what looked like a small stick was really a smash up. And that was the end of this one. 
Maurice walked home and said, oh no, crash. And we looked like some petals, it's actually some peels. And that was the end of that one. A lot of walk to. They were new once and then they weren't. Look at that. That's a big crash. Good thing she's okay. Maurice found some okay sneakers. Lotta got galoshes. They tried to forget where their wheels had gone, but sneakers weren't as fast as rubber tires and galoshes weren't good for climbing. So the people were thirsty for sunshine and the sticks stayed stuck on the trees. Meanwhile, to someone new, the rust sparkled. The deflated tires still held hope. Sid knew all about the bites. The satchel told stories of sugar, the bell dinglings of a ditch. The sprockets remembered mud and lemons, twigs and mint. Hmm, I wonder what he's gonna do. On this side, Maurice wondered. On that side, Lotta maybe, it says. Bikes for sale, abandoned and discarded, found and restored. Come see Sid. And then they went to see Sid. There he is. I think he's a raccoon. Lotta rode her bike to the woods, through the park on 3rd Street that had the best lemon trees, and through the ditch on 5th Street that had the best mud. Maurice rode his bike to the grocery store, through the park on 3rd Street that had the best lemon trees, to the woods, and to the shop. Look at that! They'd never ridden this way before. Look, they combined them. They put two bikes in one. I don't remember what that's called. You have two people riding one bike. Hmm. Don't remember. They had new adventures and sticks had, now the lemons had more shine and the sticks had more snap. What looked like a friend was really a friend, and that's how friendships begin. They are new once, and then they aren't. The end. Oh, and look, there is a map on the inside, on the end pages. Love it when they get a map. Very good. Let's see, who saw you? Thank you to Chronicle Books for letting us read this one today. Bikes for sale. All right, let's roll our song cube. See what song we're gonna sing today. Let's see. Oh, what's this one? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Let's do that one. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Very good. Let's roll it again. Oh man, what's that? It's our spider, Itsy Bitsy Spider. You ready? The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the spout again. Very good. What if instead of an itsy bitsy spider, it was a great big spider like this? It goes like this. The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. Very good. What if instead of a great big spider, Very good. It's fun to sing in silly voices, isn't it? It is. Let's see what else we can get today. Ooh, this one, this is our hearts. This one is called Skin and Marinky Dinky Dink. And we go, we start like this, all right? Skin and Marinky Dinky Dink, Skin and Marinky Do. I love you. Skin and Marinky Dinky Dink, Skin and Marinky Do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. 
I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. Good job. That's one of our favorites. All right, I got another story for you today. <clears throat> another one about a bike. This one is called the Patchwork Bike. And it is by dun, 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 Maxine Beneba Clark and illustrated by Van Ton Rudd. Look at that. This is the village where we live inside our mud for walls home. These are my crazy brothers. There they are, one, two. And this is our fed up mum. You know, some places they call moms mums. Here is the sand hill we built to slide down, whooping and shrieking and laughing. That looks like fun. This is the big Fiori tree where we go jumping and climbing out in the no-go desert under the stretching out sky. Do you like those climb trees? Climb trees are pretty fun. But the best thing of all in our village is me and my brother's bike. Now does that look like a bike that you might have at your house? It's not quite, it looks a little different. Let's see what's, what's different about it. It has a bent bucket seat and handlebar branches that shickety shake when we ride over the sand hills. It has bashed tin pan handles and wood cut wheels that wickety wonk when we speed through the fields. It has a flag that's made from a flour sack and a bell that used to be mum's milk pot. Our hand looks like we've taken it. It has painted on lights and a bark license plate that keeps falling off, so we have to remake it. It can bumpity bump through the village, fly right through our mud for walls home. Aren't these illustrations pretty? Carrying me and both of my brothers right past are fed up mum. I'm just at the back of her. The best thing of all to play with under the stretching out sky at the edge of the no-go desert is me and my brother's bike. Look, one, two, three. The end. This has more information about the bike because the bike, they made it. Can you imagine making your own bike? How cool is that? So it's got a little bit more information about where this story comes from and maybe about the people that live in these kinds of places. So if you want to learn more, it is a um, great resource. And the illustrator, illustrator also has more information. So I think that's just a cool book. And it's different. We all know what bikes look like, but have you ever seen a bike like this? Isn't that so neat? It's just something so different. Let's see who helped us read this one. Thank you, Candlewick Press, for letting us read this one today. All right, I got one more thing that's a little different than what we normally do. Can you guess what this is? It's a cat, and this cat is named Scat. I like it when things rhyme. So this is gonna be a little bit of a story. So what color is the cat now? Black. So once, there was a little black cat. He was a magic cat because he could change his colors just like that. All he had to say was, I'm Scat the cat, I'm sassy and fat, and I can change my colors just like that. One day, Scat decided he was tired of being black. He wanted to be a new color, so he said, I'm Scat the cat, I'm sassy and fat, and I can change my colors just like that. What color is he now? Blue. He changed to blue. Scat went down to the pond to look at himself in the water. 
Unfortunately, he fell in and he couldn't swim. Timmy Turtle came along and helped Scat get back on shore. Scat decided he didn't want to be blue anymore, so he said, I'm Scat the Cat, I'm sassy and fat, and I can change my colors. Just like that. What color is it going to be now? What color is that? Red. He, walk, he went walking down the street and everyone started laughing at him. Who ever heard of a red cat, they said. The cat, Scat decided he didn't want to be red anymore. So he said, I'm Scat the Cat, I'm sassy and fat, and I can change my colors just like that. What do you think the next color is going to be? Whoa, yellow. Scat went walking in the woods, and who did he run into but his cousin Leo, the lion. Grrr, roared Leo. I'm the only cat who can be yellow. Scat decided he better not be yellow anymore, and he quickly said, I'm Scat the cat, I'm sassy and fat, and I can change my colors just like that. Ooh, what color is he now? He's green. Scat wanted to play with his brothers and sisters in the grass. He tried to play with them, but he was green like the grass, and they couldn't see him. Scat decided he didn't want to be blue or red or yellow or green, so he said, I'm Scat the Cat, I'm sassy and fat, and I can change my colors just like that. What color is he now? Scat knew that being himself was the best thing to be. Do you know what? Being yourself is the best thing you can be, too, because there's nobody else exactly like you. And I like you just the way you are. It went back to black because that is who he is. Good. Isn't that a cool story? Maybe I'll do some more like this. Mix it up a little bit. All right, let's sing our last song of the day. This one is, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, nod your head. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, wave goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Thank you so much for coming today. I'll see you next time. Bye.